Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from My Heap, and welcome to episode 11 of the YouTube Shop Student Series. Uh, so in this episode, uh, I want to talk about some of the things that I learned about making this uh, captured nut puzzle. Uh, but before that, uh, I, I want to um, offer my sincere uh, thank yous uh, from myself and uh, all of my wife's family for the uh, well wishes and the prayers that uh, you've given forth to uh, my brother-in-law, Russell. Uh, uh, if you've missed the earlier video when I was asking for those things, um, my brother-in-law has uh, polycystic kidney disease. His uh, kidney functions were down to between uh, 10 and 13 percent, um, and uh, it was in a lot of pain, uh, very, very, very rough shape. So the nephrologist decided to remove both kidneys, and uh, so uh, that was um, on Friday, uh, this past Friday, I think that was the 8th. Uh, it was a nine hour surgery. The surgeon told us that his kidneys were the size of footballs. Now, um, for my European friends, that's American football. So that's, that's a pretty good size. Uh, but he is uh, out of ICU and he's uh, stable. And uh, they're doing a rehab on him now. And hopefully uh, they're giving about eight weeks uh, of recovery. And uh, then I think at that point, they're gonna start looking uh, for donors. But anyway, thanks again uh, for all the well wishes and, and the prayers. I, I appreciate it, my family appreciates it. All right, so anyway, back to this uh, captive nut puzzle. Um, so here's some of the things that I learned. Um, first, let, let me talk about knurling, right? Uh, knurling is, uh, is pretty tough for me. It, uh, it uh, takes a lot of lateral pressure. This is uh, for any other newbies out here listening. It takes a lot of lateral pressure if you're using a bump style knurler to get the knurler to bite. If you don't have enough pressure, you get a bunch of cross knurls, which is what I have right here. I think the solution to my problem will most likely be the clamp type uh, or scissor knurls. Uh, and I had uh, some links sent to me uh, from some users. Thank you very much for those links. I want to try to get one of those and, and uh, maybe I can uh, convince my wife to get one for Father's Day or something. Yeah, who knows? Um, the other thing is uh, two things that I noticed. So when I uh, chamfered these edges. You use a, a wide chamfer, um, you know, 45 degree, a sixteenth of an inch uh, deep. So it ends up being a fairly wide chamfer. Now here's two things that I noticed. When I had the entire bar in there that uh, had a lot of material clamped by the chuck and I had um, tailstock support, I had very, very little to absolutely no chatter, right? But now as soon as I took the puzzle apart or I had the nut and I had it clamped just by, uh, clamped just by the little piece of, uh, of copper, um, I lost a lot of rigidity and I had lots and lots of um, chatter. And the chatter was, well, was pretty ugly. Um, so I think the thing to do for there in a situation where you don't have a lot of rigidity um, is uh, probably to set the uh, compound to 45 degrees advance the saddle a little bit and just take that chamfer off and, and, and little sizable bites. And I think from uh, here on out, when I have a big chamfer, that's how I'm gonna do it. Uh, parting. Um, my uh, experience parting the 12L14 was actually quite pleasurable. I slowed the lathe down, give it a, a bit of oil, and uh, no chatter, no nothing. It just it just cut. So, uh, but I understand that uh, the 12L14, the screw stock, uh, is is great uh, for that sort of stuff. So parting is uh, I, I felt pretty good. Threading um, threading uh, was a little tense to begin with, but uh, you know as I made each pass, uh, got a little better. I think the tense part for me was uh, trying to get my uh, half inch wide tool in the little narrow uh, thread relief space that I had, but. Uh, that that went pretty good. So those are some of the things that I learned about um, about uh, uh, with this project. So you know, as a beginning uh, or newbie uh, machinist, uh, there was a lot uh, uh, for me to pick up. And I did have somebody uh, comment about uh, you know why are you worried so much with uh, tolerances and and really uh, for a puzzle like this, this could have been anywhere on the map. It wouldn't have mattered. But you know, I'm I. I purposely tried to keep close to my drawing size uh, just for the practice more than anything. So anyway, uh, thanks for all the suggestions and help uh, uh, and advice that was given throughout the course of that uh, little little captive nut puzzle series and uh, I appreciate it and I appreciate all my viewers. I appreciate you guys so much that I made two. 
right now this one here has a very nice neural it's a much much better captive nut puzzle and uh, uh, this the second one right here I would like to give away so if you're interested in um, uh, having a chance to uh, win this, I'll ship it anywhere. I don't, I don't care where you live, um, as long as I can, and get get the mail or carrier to you. Um, I'll, I'll ship it free of charge, and and uh, you just enjoy it and share it with your friends. But if you're interested in entering the drawing for this, here's what I would like for you to do. Now, John at Double Boost uh, says the way he does his drawings, and I kind of like this. Um, Email me your first and last name, okay? And your, uh, of course, obviously, then I would have your email address and just say, and in the subject line, put uh, Captive Nut Puzzle Drawing or Drawing or something so that it sticks out to me. And uh, I will get your name on a piece of paper and in a bucket, and then um, I'll, draw, I'll draw a winner for that. And uh, I'll take a, a, some close ups of this here, here in just a minute. I'll draw a winner for that and uh, and I'll email you and then uh, if you win just give me your uh, uh, address and then I'll ship it right out to you. So that's my uh, way of saying thank you so much for uh, spending the time to watch my channel and watch my videos. Also I'd like to add that uh, if, if the videos that I make, if they're helpful, uh, you think they'll be helpful to another newbie or something like that, please like, subscribe and share. Okay, um, I would appreciate it if you've done that. And uh, so let me... Uh, let me get the camera, or let me get this in front of the camera here or something so that, uh, uh, this puzzle, so that you can get a, a closer view and, and then I'll come right back. Okay, so here's, uh, here's the puzzle and uh, hopefully you got a good view of it here and I can keep it in the viewfinder. Um, so there you go. Uh, not the prettiest, it, it's, uh, uh, made by a green newbie and um, just wanted to mention that uh, I did not I did not Loctite the puzzle together if you want to Loctite it or whatever you want to do or if you can leave it like this or however you want I uh, left it like this here for whoever wins so um, now that you got a good view of it uh, let me come back okay so hopefully you had a pretty good look at the puzzle um, Again, if you're interested in, uh, uh, in uh, a chance to, to win this puzzle, I'll send it to you. Send me your first and last name. Send me a name, okay? And I'll uh, put the name in a, in a hat, and, uh, and then I'll email you the winner back. I'll, I'll draw. Um, we'll do a drawing, and, uh, and then uh, we'll email the uh, winner and, and get the uh, address to send it back. And I'll have my wife or my son or somebody do the drawing so you guys can see that. Uh, so... For those of you who are interested, uh, I'll put it up here on the screen too, probably up here in this area. You can email me to Xavier, X-A-V-I-E-R, at gtech, G-T-E-C dot com, right? Xavier at gtech dot com. Or you can email me to YouTube at myheap dot com. So, and I'll put those addresses up here. Uh, or if you want, you could uh, go to... Uh, myheap.com to my website and at the menu across the top you'll see a contact link where you can send me an email through there too if you want so other than that uh, thanks again for your uh, patronage thanks for watching my videos and um, I appreciate you I appreciate every one of you guys and uh, the help that you've given me uh, over the last year so all right other than that have a blessed day